Okay, we are going to do a double knit, and I'm going to do choosing to do it in two colors. So I'm going to cast on, and I've extended 31 stitches. You need an odd number, and I'll explain. I'll show you why in a moment. Okay, so cast on. Thirty-one. Okay, and now you want to extend every other, bring every other one out or back, because you only you're going to use every other needle. And this stitch I'm pulling out is the one we're going to pick up when we start on the blue thread. Okay. I'll push all my needles back. I use a ruler. Well, actually, it's a yardstick that I broke. So it's the length I wanted it. Okay, and open up your latches. Bring your carriage over. Okay, and you're going to knit one row. I'm using key plate four. Knitting the row really slow. Then I'm going to hang my weights. Okay, now you can knit as many rows as you want but I'm planning on knitting um, probably this whole skein okay so I will and just just knit stockinette stitch until you get it the length you want okay and I'll be back when I get to the end of it. Okay, I have it as long as I wanted it, which is oh, how about twenty, about two yards, two, two yards, excuse me, two feet. And I'm going to take some waste yarn. And I'm going to hang it. I'm going to hook it right to the material. Actually, right to the weight. That way I know it'll stay there. And I'm going to knit about f between 6 to 10 rows. I usually do about 10 because at 6 I get nervous. At least this way I got a few extra rows to drop out of. Okay, so I remove my clip and take off my weights. And 3 and take off my work. I did 94 rows if you wanted counting the waist rows. Okay. Now leaving these stitches out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up so the wrong side is fit. So the wrong side is facing me, but it's upside down. Okay, now you're going to take 
Remember those skip stitches that we did in the beginning, these right here? We're going to hang those back on the machine. Okay. Now after you get a few hung, you can go ahead and hang a weight. That'll make hanging them a little bit easier. Well, you don't want to hang it that close. Otherwise, you'll be moving it every ten rows, every two rows. Okay. Now, I don't like it out that far when I'm rehanging. I like going in a little bit there. And had I thought about it, I would have opened up all the latches. Not that it's imperative. Now, see what happened? That's it. I expected. I'm one short a needle, so just put that back there and hang your hang them down a little bit, at least ten rows. You don't don't have to count it. You can just eyeball it. 10, 20 rows. Okay, now what you're going to do, you have one hung. See the next ladder? We're going to rehang that one. So not well. Oh, 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 you know what I forgot? <laughs> the most important thing. I need a row. Okay, so we have knitting a row. And now rehang that stitch. Well, I rehang the ladder. You're not rehanging the stitch. Let me see if I can get in closer. Nope. Just take the next ladder and rehang it on the machine. Now what this is going to be is an armrest when you're sitting at a computer and you're just watching. So your arms and you got a edge, a sharp edge on the desk. This is going to be for my father-in-law to lean on. Excuse my humming, please. Okay, push all the work back and knit a row. And repeat. Rehang. Now, I don't like the work coming out at me when I'm doing stuff. And so, I will take a ruler. This happens to be a yardstick. And hang it. I have a thinner one that I usually use. But I'm not sure where it is. But this works. This way it keeps the stitches from falling. And I'm just picking up the next ladder and rehanging it. I found this in one of the old Bond magazines from way back. I do not remember the issue. But I could see a lot of uses for this. A pad, a changing pad for a baby, hot pad, placemat. Okay, and knit a row. And repeat. 
Okay, so I am going to go off camera and do the rest off camera. When I come to the end, I'm going to put waste yarn on, but I'll, I'll be back for that. And then we'll close it up. See, I, I don't like the way it's coming out. Okay, um, pulling this way. So I usually put a stopper here. All right, I'll be back.